Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we solved this question. And in this video, we're going to solve this question. So this question states that how much additional force is required to be added to F1 to be able to lift this car that we have on this hydraulic lift up by a distance of 1.8 meters. So again, in the last video, when we were looking at the different equations to use to solve uh, that problem or part a we had this equation but you'll notice that this equation doesn't have anything to do with depth necessarily depth and and I mean depth of the actual pistons it does have this h term which is the difference in height between the two pistons um, but it doesn't have how much you know piston 2 moves up or down uh, it doesn't know anything about piston 1 moving up and down and so right now, this system that we're looking at is in hydrostatic equilibrium. We have an F1 force being applied to piston one to basically counteract the force being applied by this car sitting on piston two. So this question right here, part B, is asking how much additional force is required to be added to F1 in order to lift the car up by 1.8 meters. And if you remember from the last few videos uh, prior to this hydraulic lift example, we actually derived a lot of the equations that we're using here, including the one we used in the last video. So the equation that we want to use in this particular problem is this one. Delta F is equal to rho times G times area 1 plus area 2 times D2. This is delta F, so this is a, an additional force being applied. It's not F1, but it's an additional force being applied to F1. Um, then we have this rho times G, which is our mass density times our gravitational constant. Then we have this A1 plus A2 term, A2 term which is the area of the two different pistons added together. And then we have this D2 term. This D2 term really is the distance that piston two will move up. And that is how we derive that equation in the last few videos. But the important thing to remember is that this distance two is the distance that piston two is moving up. And so the question is asking how much additional force is required to move the car up or piston two up by 1.8 meters. So this 1.8 meters is what our D2 is going to be. And we can use all of these values to basically calculate delta F. So let's do that. So the very first term is this rho term. And if you remember from the last video, the rho, the mass density for the fluid contained inside of the hydraulic lift was 900 kilograms per meter cubed. So that will be 900 kilograms per meter cubed times our gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. And then we have these two A1 plus A2 terms. And if you remember from the last video, I just kind of kept them as this, so we didn't have to deal with some crazy long irrational numbers, but I'll just keep them as is. So area one is pi times 0 0.035 meters squared plus pi times 0 0.15 meters squared. And then finally, we have that D2 distance. And that D2 distance was 1.8 meters. So this was fairly simple. It's just more or less a plug and chug. We have all the values that we need on the right side. And if we just plug this into our calculators, we get delta F is 1,184.5 newtons. So that's the value of delta F. And remember, again, this is the additional force. So if we were to go back up to this hydraulic lift and we said, hey, we wanted to move piston two, this is the original location of piston two, and we wanted to move it up by a distance of 1.8 meters, then the additional force that we have to add to F1 is this 1,184 newtons. So really the total force being applied to piston one is this 1184 newtons and this F1 force of 694 newtons that we found out in the last video. So I know this was a pretty short example for this 
second question, but I hope that helped, and I will see you guys in the next one.